my boyfriend snores. And I found out recently that my dad also snores because I was whinging to my mum about my boyfriend snoring. And she said, have you tried these? And then slid something across the kitchen bench like it was drugs. Try these. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're checking out the amazing, the beautiful, the wonderful Sarah Millican. She's amazing. She's so good. This is Dylan with your partner snoring. I snore a lot. So this is down my field. Down my, down my lane, down my field. Let's go. But like I said, I've been with my fella for six years. It's gone really well. Um, he bought himself a suit recently. I don't think I've ever seen him in a suit. I quite fancied him in his suit. And I told him, I said, quite fancy you in your suit and he said and I quote it's very smooth he said if you like I leave it on and sort you out all good and proper all posh and that <laughs> he said you forgot to say Miss Money Penny on the end <laughs> but the only time we ever argue is when it comes to Christmas birthdays present given times that sort of thing because he really likes to buy me surprises and I really hate surprises <laughs> We've got a bit of a happy medium now, though, in the last couple of years, where I give him a list of pre-approved surprises. <laughs> Five or six things. He can pick whichever one he likes. I don't know which one it's going to be, so it's still technically a surprise. He came home a few days before my birthday last year, and he said, never guess what I've just done. I said, what have you just done? He said, I've gone off list. <laughs> he said, I'm not even sure if you're going to like it. I said, why the fuck did you buy it then? <laughs> I mean... Thank you. <laughs> but a friend of mine who doesn't really know us very well, she said, oh, that sounds like an engagement ring to me. I said, no, it sounds like kaplunk. <laughs> but we have quite busy lives, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. And when we go on holiday, we like to go somewhere relaxing, somewhere where we can look at nice scenery and, and read books. That's all we really want to do. Uh, my boyfriend doesn't like to fly, so we tend to stay within the UK. And because we don't have to pay for expensive flights, we sometimes treat ourselves to a slightly posher hotel. And the last posh hotel we stayed in had two baths either side of each other. And I thought, oh, we're going to be able to have really romantic baths together without having to stare at hairy toes. <laughs> <laughs> that man puts up with an awful lot with me. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, his feet aren't any better. They're not horrific, they're just, you know, feet. Nails are a bit long, toes are a bit hairy. There's crusty bits on the bottoms, you know, this sort of thing. So you look like you could pick up mice with those. They've got a certain sort of owl-like quality to them. But you know, we don't live together. We have a few days a week together and a few days a week apart. And when we're apart and I get to sleep in my own bed on my own, I fucking love it. Starfish, I love it. So we all have our partners, but when you're trying to get to sleep, they all do niggly things, don't they? Do you know what? That's mad, because like, I live with my girlfriend here, and like she gets up earlier than me, because I start, I work from home. So literally, I, I wake up like, you know, 20 minutes before I start work. But she has to get up like an hour earlier before I wake up. And whenever she wakes up, that's me. I do a starfish, literally. <laughs> and then I have to go bed to myself. It's so true, literally. What she's saying about uh, about couples as well, about the nails. I feel like it's all men. I think all men get the abuse. My girlfriend always abuse my, my feet. Like my feet, I think they're okay. I play a lot of football. I think they're grand. You know, you don't see me, you know, getting pedicures, but I think they're all right. But to women, it has to be exquisite. But I think it's okay. Like, breathing. <laughs> Trying to get to sleep, they all do niggly things, don't they? Like, breathing. <laughs> 30 years together, is there anything about each other when you're trying to get to sleep that's irritating? He snores, does he snore? Gives a chill to people who think that they're a snorer? Yeah. Well, the people who know they're sitting beside a snorer. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of denial in the room tonight. <laughs> My boyfriend snores, and I found out recently that my dad also snores, because I was whinging to my mum about my boyfriend snoring, and she said, have you tried these? And then slid something across the kitchen bench like it was drugs. Try these. <laughs> and what they were were those nasal strips. I don't know if you've seen them. They're little strips that go across the bridge of the snorer's nose so that they open the nostrils out so that they can breathe more clearly, and in theory, they don't snore anymore. Now, they worked for us for a while until it came to Christmas. Now, something you need to know about me is that I really love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> my boyfriend doesn't like Brussels sprouts so at Christmas we get a big bag of Brussels sprouts and I eat the lot and I don't mind telling you I'm pretty fucking toxic <laughs> so just before we went to bed on Christmas night my boyfriend went do you mind if I don't put the strip on tonight <laughs> I don't, my nostrils are 
happens to be any bigger than they happen to be. <laughs> Another thing he does, he puts his arm across us, and I feel, I quite like that, because I feel quite sort of safe and protected, I suppose. But then sometimes he puts his leg across, and I think, oh, now we are taking the fucking piss. <laughs> The last time I did it, he put his foot, remember, I described it not that long ago. <laughs> he put his foot on my leg and he rubbed it up and down. I think all men are the same. Like, I have this weird thing I do when I'm sleeping. I can literally just raise my leg. I'll be sleeping here and I just literally just raise my knee up. I can do that for like five, ten minutes, easily. Like, I'll be lying straight down and just raise one knee up. And my girlfriend should be like, what, what are you doing? I just, I just love moving my leg up and down, left to right. I just, I, that's just me. I think it's just because my I'm so I'm super active. Like I'm always playing different sports, going gym, playing football. That my legs are always restless. And let me know it's just me. Like it's getting to a stage. I'm like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> and she hates that. Sometimes I try to stay in the living room for my girlfriend to fall asleep before I go in there. Because if I go in there first, I'll be snoring. Like my snoring is bad. It's bad. It's oh no 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 no. It's more, it's terrible. Like if I'm snoring in this room, you can probably in the other room. But yeah, your boyfriend or your girlfriend has to love you to stay with you if you're that bad. Because <laughs> sometimes when she, I remember in the beginning, she'd record me, she showed to him, like, who is that guy? I'm like, that's not me. I'm like, how do you cope with that all night? So yeah, it's love, it's love. <laughs> and I went, what are you doing? <laughs> and he went, I'm being tender. <laughs> I said, no, love, you're exfoliating. <laughs> You know, it'd be great. Yeah, sorry about the little stories. I'm not sure if you guys like them, but it's just the fact that they're so relatable. Comedians like this, they're so relatable that it just brings something out of you. And that's why you kind of form this emotion with them. You know, this, you know, just get like I, I, when she's talking, I can relate to her so much because I'm like, she's talking about stuff that I do every single day, like daily stuff that me and you do. I like relatable comedians, man. It's so, so good to see. But yeah, if you guys want to see more Sarah, I've done a few Sarah Millican. Now. Uh, I only knew about it a month ago as well. So it's good that I've done all these reactions to her so far. If you want to see more, please keep commenting down below. Like, push on notifications and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.